Now, today's show is coming from where, Corey? Pinjar Park. It's actually uh, just near the V8 supercar track of Wanneroo. Um, yeah, it's a junior track out here for the juniors, but the seniors right here as well, yeah. Now, it's a very special event here today, isn't it? Yeah, it's in aid of um, a guy by the name of Rob Wolfenden. He's um, the gentleman who actually created created this track. It started it from scratch. It was just a just a sand pit. So, um, yeah, it's, he's, he's in England at the moment. Couldn't make it out here, but he's got cancer at the moment. So his boy actually hails from here, but he rides under England flag. I don't know why that is, but um, <laughs> yeah, yeah, I think he's yeah. But uh, otherwise, um, yeah, it's in aid for for Rob and 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 trying. Well, let's him. hope they, they they raise a bit of money and a bit of awareness uh, for the track because this is an amazing little place. We actually featured it uh, on our uh, last series. Yeah, yeah, uh, on, on two, two wheels. wheels yeah. yeah, people should get down here and watch this stuff because it is really good fun, isn't it? Very exciting. It's a small track and a 500 cc of no brakes around here is awesome. It's very yeah. That, good. that worries me a bit. No brake bit. Yeah, well, you, you don't need them. They only <laughs> slow you down. They're ex extra weight. It always yeah. has done. And uh, we're here also for a spe another special reason. Yeah, yeah, definitely. There's um, an old vintage rider riding. Um, probably more your era than mine. I'll let you but... call him a vintage rider, mate. Because yeah, yeah, I'll yeah, tell yeah. you what, he's still a pretty fit guy at 70. And I'll tell you what, he'd probably lay you out if you said that too. Oh, definitely, <laughs> definitely. But he can still ride a bike as and well. And he yeah. is, of course. Yeah, he, uh, the, the Sir Ivan Major, as everyone says. Yeah, yeah but, OBE, um, MBE. Uh, yeah, he's done, he's done all that. He's won many a world titles and long track and short track and pairs and yeah. world cups. He's, yeah, if he's anyone's one of I've noticed, uh, I've just noticed there's a couple of girls going around here at the moment and they've got uh, some uh, lovely pictures of uh, yep. when he won the third world championship. Yeah, yeah. Um, and they're, they're auctioning that tonight. Oh, so right, obviously okay. that's going to help Rob a little bit. Yep, a little yep. bit of money coming in always helps. So, uh, yeah, so, and it'll maybe help the track as well. Yeah, definitely. So we're going to have a chat with Ivan Major. Who's going to have the chat with Ivan Major? Well, I'll let you because he's more your hero. You probably speak his <laughs> lingo, but yeah. yeah. Uh, he's my hero, yeah, absolute yeah. hero. Well, well, I think what we ought to do is have a look around a speedway bike and you yeah. explain some of the bits of a speedway bike to yeah, us. Yeah, I'll show you the basic char characteristics of them. And, um, yeah, yeah, we can run through. Good it. stuff. We'll do that. Yeah. Rightio. Basically, what I'm going to do is explain what a 500cc is about. They're um, they're just a single single cylinder motorcycle with the um, no brakes, one gear. Um, other than that, just just an accelerator. Turn it on and close your eyes, pretty much. That's what most people do. Um, I'll basically show you here. So what it has is just your basic one gear. Usually you have a caliper and a caliper mount and a disc here, but not on these things. Just a basic muffler. And this is actually for your clutch. This is a clutch arm. So when you pull that in, pull your clutch lever in, as you can see here, you watch this, this moves in and it splits the dry clutch apart. These, the clutches aren't actually in the, in the oil. They're actually a dry clutch just running the atmospheric air and um, that keeps them a little bit cooler. Um, basically a single cylinder. You've got a basic ignition on that side. And then um, just a, pretty much most of the carburetors are handmade. Um, out of a billet aluminium or, or something like that. They don't run a pilot jet or a, um, a primary circuit. They just run a main jet and a needle and, and full throttle and away you go. Just pump it all in there. They run about a litre in the tank. So if you have a restart, you, you're, um, you pro probably will need to fuel up. On a little track like this, you probably don't need to, but on the bigger tracks, you do need to refuel. You can't ride it down the shops, you won't make it. They run alcohol, um, pure alcohol, which is methanol. Uh, you don't mix it with anything, it's just pure pure alcohol, so sometimes if it is a bit slick, slick on the track where it's dry, you can actually put a couple of caps of water in there and, and make it make the engine die off and then it'll pull you off the start a bit better, but that's a little trick that some of us do and some people don't know about yet. Um, other than that, on the other side here, um, you probably can't see, but there's a basic dry clutch and there's a... Um, a sprocket on the opposite side to this is a sprocket that just runs to a dry clutch and then straight to your back wheel so once you let the clutch out it engages the back wheel and that's it it's solid so that's the engine working and then when you pull it in basic so that's a brake so if that's not the only brake the other brake is the fence but you want to try and stay away from using that all the time because it ends up wrecking your bike um, other than that we'll go have a look and see how they go around the track
I'm here with Jeff Giddes and Dennis Nash. Um, they ride the sidecar we just seen out in the track a second ago. We'll play a bit of it in a second. Um, how long have you been racing, Dennis? I started in 68 and I stopped uh, in 94 and then I rode again in 98. Jeff and I rode, was 30 years to the day from the first title I ever rode in West Australian title right. to uh, the last one. And I went to Gilman last year after a 14 year layoff yep. and we rode in the they had a meeting over there for all the guys that had won Australian titles from the 60s on. 60s on, yeah, so right. I rode in with the boys in the, when I'm in the 70s and the 80s. I heard you did pretty well at that. And so, yeah. Yeah, we had a good time, you know. Yeah. Everybody wanted to try and run us over. But... Yeah. You've won a few titles, haven't you? No, uh, we won, uh, I won nine West Australian titles and five Australian individual titles. And we won the pairs three times, Australian best pairs. Right, OK, so that's, that's, a, that's a bit, and well, are you coming back out? I've seen you've been on for two weeks in a row now. Have you got the bug again? Are you back no, out no, having no, good no, or what? No, 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 no. No? No, I'm, uh, I was born 51 and I've got to remember that. Yeah, right, OK. So, yeah, yeah I'm 59 very shortly. Yep. And I, uh, in January, and I, we only went back to have a ride just for a a bit of a promotional thing for the yep. for sidecars because in this state sidecars are being completed yeah. totally. Nowhere to ride, no. nowhere to go. So it was just a, a promotional thing. Try and get the sidecars yeah. back happening in Western Australia yeah. as they yeah. were years ago and how big they were years ago at Claremont, oh. Bibra Lake and West Australia was the benchmark. Yeah, we yeah. won more Australian titles than anybody else. Oh, have, you been, have you been swinging for um, Dennis the whole career, or have you been chopping and changing? 1987 was the first Australian title I won with him. 1987. I must have been about 85 when I first got on. Yeah. Oh, right. Yeah, we Dennis won. Had enough. Yep. So I yeah. Decided to go. And oh, I was lucky enough to be at the right spot at the right time. And I said to ride. Jeff, yeah, I said to Jeff, we're going to Albany tomorrow night to ride. Yep. You come down and see if you like me and I like you, and we'll see how it goes. And yeah. From then on, we've had a fantastic partnership together. <laughs> I'm here with uh, the famous Glenn Doyle. Uh, oh, well, was famous, now he's a has-been. Has-been, yeah. Has-been, the old Claremont days. Um, so you're riding Rob's old bike, I hear? Apparently so, yeah. Someone's kindly brought it down for me, and um, yeah. we're going to... Um, have, a, have a blunt? Try and have a skid. OK, yeah, yeah on a old Westlake, eh? Yes, that's what I started off with. Well, it wasn't, it was actually old two-valver, but yeah. yeah, my favourite motor was the old Wessie. Wessie, yeah. Um, yeah, right, OK. Um, they're a bit different to the newer ones. The new engines are laid over, whereas these are standing, up, standing upright. Um, so how do you think you're going to go? How many oh, mate, I haven't ridden a bike for ages, years. Ages? What was, you what know, was I'll wobble around and hopefully as long as I don't hit the fence, that's all the What was your last claim to fame then? Getting left in a bus, getting left in Poland. Oh was it? God, yeah, I've had a few of those claim the fames and all the rest yeah. of it. But I've moved on now and into different business now, tourism. Yep. yep. Um, claim the fame now is operate the biggest monster bus in the world. Monster bus in the world. Yeah. Oh, you got the ones up in Lancelot. Lancelot, yeah, 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 it's taken Excellent. three years to build, finish the last one off. Oh, so you got three now? Yep. Yeah, so, um, sensational. Um, yeah. It's going well, and yep. I just just Are they've asked me to come down and have a skid. So see if that's you can that's still what do yeah. It. See if I can do it, but yeah, yeah. just use respect to Wolfie. Yeah. You know, yeah. That's, yeah, that's you, what it's you all about. a lot with him. And, uh, yeah, yeah, well, yeah. I, he's put a lot into the sport here. Yeah, and, um, I was just asked and I, I, I obliged. You know. A bit of a trip, I think everyone did. Yeah, so, um, drama. So, we'll see what happens, some, mate. Yeah, yeah, well, go out and have a squirt and have some fun. I'll, don't, I'll try. Don't bend the old beast. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry if I do, mate. <laughs> <laughs>
here we have the Hyosung GT 250R. It's got a fuel injection V10 250 along with front double disc brakes and probably one of the best, better sounding 250 uh, engines around. The instrument cluster is very well thought out. Hyosung's continuing the trend of digital speedo and analog taco. Also has a very handy clock and fuel gauge. The seat is actually it's pretty wide and surprisingly comfortable over long distances. I did about 100 k's or so non-stop and no problems at all. The engine is very smooth. When you're at the lights, uh, for learners, you're never going to have any problems stalling the bike or over revving it. Thanks to the fuel injection, it's very smooth, very predictable. The combination of the light weight of the bike and the good suspension picks up all the bumps in the road within it without any problems, but it also means that it's also very easy to throw around when you want, but at the same time it's just as fun to just cruise on the freeway. You won't have any problems with that either. But probably the best thing about this bike is the size. I think most people upgrade from 250s because they want a bit more power and for some of the, some of the bigger blokes they can feel a bit you know embarrassed riding these little pity 250s. But with the GT250R, the frame is almost the same size as the GT650R. So as a result, you don't at any time you do not feel like you're riding a 250. I was at a set of lights yesterday next to some done up cars, and honestly, they all thought I was some high tech, uh, high performance superbike. So if you're young, you know you might go to uni, you want to impress the ladies on your 250 license. This is the bike for it. At the same time, if you're in your mid 20s, your mid 30s. You want to start getting into motorcycling, but you know you don't want to get picked on by your mates in their big cars. This is equally the bike for you. At the same time, if you don't want to upgrade from your 250, you know you're happy with the fuel consumption, you're happy with the really good brakes, the good suspension, the good size. This is what you're after. It's absolutely brilliant. If I had my time again, I absolutely would have gone for this bike. <laughs>
two or three times a year for anniversaries or different, Fantastic. different reasons. But uh, my surgeon advised me not to do one here tonight because it was too soon. Mm -hmm. I had a major operation on my ankle in uh, April. Yeah, you don't want to risk something like that, do you? No, it's not, not worth it. Well, look, mate, it's really good to see you. Yeah. Um, and uh, you, you were, as I say, a hero of mine. Yeah. Uh, six times world champion. Could have been nine, but yeah. Ollie Olsen stopped you a couple of times, I think. Yeah. Yeah, which was a bit of a disappointment to us yeah. all back then. Yeah. Yeah, and... Um, well, I, I did win nine individuals because I won three long tracks. Uh, I won the world final three years in a row, 68, 69 and 70. And that's the first time it was done. It's actually the only time it's been done, it's been done since. Yeah, and the bike was uh, gold-plated by some Americans, I believe. Yes, that's right. Yeah, and then it's sitting in... Uh, it's in museum. my uh, Cannery Museum in Christchurch. In yeah. New yeah, Christchurch. What what happened in Christchurch? Um, Ronnie Moore, yeah. Briggsy, yeah. and you. Yeah. It, it's just amazing. It all came out of Christchurch, yeah. you know. You followed each other, yeah, basically. Uh, and we all come from the same side of Christchurch as well. That's unbelievable. So, uh, yeah, no explanation for it. And, and what about now? Is there anybody there that's up and coming? Uh, yes, I've got a couple of 14 and 114, 115 in my uh, academies the last uh, two years. They're going to be a force in the when they're like 18, 19 mm -hmm. in the under 21 World Championship. Uh, and future possibly world championships, but um, they're very keen at the to at the moment. But um, as with so many young riders in well, all around the world, I've got them all around the world. Mm -hmm. um, they're very dedicated when they're 14, 15, and 16, um, and mostly they're not going as good when they're like 26, mm -hmm. you know, 25, 26. So, um, but hopefully these ones will uh, stick at it. But there's always an exception, so. Well, let's hope so, because yeah. it'd be nice to see another group of three yeah. riders come through yeah. Yeah. to follow it up. Um, yeah. I don't know what's happening here in Western Australia. There seems to be a bit of a boom here in Western Australia yeah. for Speedway, it's starting to gather, yeah. uh, gather momentum again. Um, I've noticed there's a lot more Speedway on television now. Yeah. I mean, I remember turning on in the 60s, 68, 69, and watching it on, on uh, TV in England. It yeah. was a big night. You'd yeah. sit down and watch yeah. the Speedway. It was a massive yeah. night. Yeah. But that all seemed to drop off, and, and I, I'm, I'm glad to see it starting to make a bit of a comeback yeah. now. BBC World of Sport used to play at uh, any, any of the big meetings that play it on the following Saturday. That's right, yeah. No, it was fantastic. Well, look, great to see you. Have a great time while you're here. Okay. And it's for a great cause. And uh, let's hope uh, let's hope they raise a few bob today as well. And, you know, a bit of recognition for the circuit as well. Yeah, it is. Yeah, it's recognition for the circuit. And uh, Rob Whippenden was one of the organisers of getting this going. Uh, so it's a recognition for him. And, uh, you know, it's... Well, I'm, I'm sure he'll be very proud tonight to, to see this here, and it's a shame he's not here with us. We watch our three up line up, Nick Cedar.
you're riding across India, everyone knows what do you need to have. The most important thing is not the brakes, not the suspension, or the handling. What it is is the horn. So that one's all right. Now. On Two Wheels is brought to you by the following sponsors.